Yeah, so uh, 87 days. Here we are. There is not a cloud to be seen again. It is going to be beautiful A again. I couldn't have timed this trip uh, during a better summer, really. Other than a uh, little bit of the smoke, uh, it has been a pretty awesome summer. So, Welcome to Dorback Adventures. Adventures. Follow me this summer as I travel the BC Kootenays in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. I think today I'll uh, definitely head up the road to uh, go do some panning again. And I might actually grab a little bit more firewood yet. Uh, I ran all that bark out last night, so I'm going to need some more. So. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. So I'm going to have some brekkie here real quick and uh, let it warm up a little bit more. And uh, we'll be on our way up to the road. Well, it is day 87. And breakfast is about the same as usual. But uh, it's uh, looking pretty stellar, so... Well, the uh, old barbecue was getting a little bit greased up, so uh, I did a burn off on it last night, and uh, yeah, look at what it did to the barbecue. And I actually cleaned this a little bit already too. Plus, the wall behind me on the trailer is now a little darker than normal. So uh, note to self: maybe next time I do a burn off, I pull the barbie a little bit farther away from the trailer. Now well, we are back down at the river, same old usual spot. I'm going to give her a go here, see what we can find. So, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. Well, I've done a couple of test pans already, and, uh, I mean, I'm finding a little bit of gold, but I just can't seem to get on it today. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, I'm going to just poke around, look around, and uh, see what we can find, I guess. done trying on big rocks. I've been trying on this one for a while here. It's loose but it ain't moving so the heck with it already. I gotta find an easier spot to dig. I'm uh, thinking this spot pretty much wore out already so uh, I gotta find something easier to dig because I'm not moving any more big rocks. I have enough of that. So, so we're gonna have a look around and see what we can find. But uh, at this point it is not looking very good today. So, but oh well. What is it? Well, I found my uh, very first not too bad a pan, so uh, things are looking up, but the only problem is I'm digging in the water again, and man, it is cold. My hands are numb right now, so I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up, so we'll see how it goes. Well, I have had about enough. I'm not finding hardly any gold today, and I've been doing a lot of digging and a lot of moving rocks, and I'm getting nowhere, so I think I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, out in the water's so bloody cold, I can't even hardly stick my hands in it, so, so yeah, uh, final look around, this has uh, been a pretty beautiful spot. I don't think I'll be back here tomorrow, so uh, this might be the last time you get to see this spot. So. It's been pretty played out now, uh, it was pretty good. We will do a gold tally eventually here, so I'm not really feeling up to coming back here tomorrow again. It's getting pretty hard to locate any kind of gold here now, so... But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. What do you do, right? So, but, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what happens and see you on the way uh, back at camp. Well, I took a little bit of a drive farther up the road from uh, where I was panning. This is uh, kilometer 16, and this is actually where the only claim is on this river. So, I'm just here to have a look. Uh, we camped here years ago, and uh, it's kind of a nice area as well. So, yeah, this is the only claim on this river, so... For some reason, I feel like I may have stood on this rock at one point. <laughs> uh, I will look through some old pictures and see if I can... Uh, find that picture, but I think this might be the rock. Well this here is what I like to call a skelly rock. This uh, rock came from Skelly Creek which is upstream of here. It's a tributary for the Goat River. 
and uh, these rocks are uh, predominant up in that direction so I'm not quite sure what type of rock it is it's uh, kind of a conglomerate of a few different kinds of stone so there's some quartz in it too but uh, yeah skelly rock that's what I like to call them so that's a kind of a nice little marshy uh, spot here right along the side of the road kind of nice I'll be full of mosquitoes <laughs> Well, this uh, is the bridge that is going uh, over Bohan Creek, I believe it is. We are at kilometer 16 here, so kind of a nice creek. And it is pretty tame right now. When it's high water, this is just ripping through here. And, of course, the downstream side. <laughs> now, there's some sort of game trail going up the hill here. Not a motorbike trail, you wouldn't do it on a bike, so it's got to be game. Well, we are uh, at about 15k up. I am going to take a little walk down to the river here. There's uh, somewhat of a trail here. Hopefully we can do this. Let's have a look down here. Looks like an interesting spot. Well, not too bad to get down to, so through, through the trees, but reasonable trail, doable while filming. Whoa, almost. I just can't believe how low the water is. It's incredibly low this year. Out of all the years I've been coming out here, I've never seen it this low before, so... Oh. Alright. We are at the river. Look at the size of some of these boulders. Woo-wee! spot too. I've never tried panning down here I don't think. Well maybe I have. It might have been uh, a few years back already actually. Man there's some big boulders here. That is a piece of dead rock but I don't think it's from here. I think it's from maybe way up there. There's a bunch of uh, rock up there that looks like it could have come down and I wouldn't be surprised if these are those pieces. Yeah, that is a big rock. This one here I may say is dead rock. But again, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Quartz vein running through the rock. Oh, and a whole bunch of quartz. Like it just sheared off there. Hmm. Very cool. Oy. Kind of hard to walk in here, but... Yep, this is a nice area. There's some big old broken up bedrock there, boy. Holy. Those pieces may have came from up top, too, at one point. That wouldn't surprise me. Well, I'll go a little bit further up, but I'm not going to get too carried away here. a big gravel bar. Not much in the way of bedrock though, unless you're on the other side. But it all looks pretty smoothed over as well, so I don't think a guy would be doing a whole lot of crevicing. Kind of an interesting little gravel bar right there.
Yeah, you'd think there'd be some gold here, but uh, I don't think I've ever found any here, so not, I may not have been looking in the right spot as well, so who knows. Yeah, this is one of those massive boulders, and that looks like a pretty nice crevice in there. Well, you'd never split this boulder open, and it'd take you a year. Well, that's the way out. I am going to tackle that. There is a big old quartz rock. That is huge. Hmm. Yeah, there might be some good digging around here. I don't know. I've not really put the time in here to find out. So, would be interesting to put some more time in, but that will have to be another another trip. Unfortunately, we are almost out of time on this trip. Oh yeah, through the tree. Yeah, here we go. Back to the truck. Well, here we are at the bridge on kilometer 14. Uh, I don't remember what this creek is offhand. I will uh, try and look that up after. But, uh, this one also a tributary for the Goat River. Downstream side. Again, kilometer 14 roughly. Well, I think that way up there is where those big boulders that were in the river came from. Looks like there's some rock missing out of there, and uh, it wouldn't take it long to make it all the way down to the river from there, so... Right on the side of the road. I think I'm going to limb this and bring it home for firewood. <laughs> We are uh, just down the road from Leadville Creek, which is right there at that intersection. And uh, there's a cabin here. I have been meaning to look at this place ever since I started coming out here. I've never actually had a look at it, so let's go have a look today. It's uh, been long abandoned as far as I know, but uh, kind of an interesting uh, little place. Man, I would love to own property right here. If I could own this, it'd be a uh, done deal. Well, there's even a stack of wood there. Probably no good anymore. Wow, there's a pretty sizable building here that somebody has put in. Clearly been abandoned. And then a propane tank. Huh. Might have been a pretty nice place at one point. Probably full of bullet holes and now. Yeah. Seems solid enough yet. Now well, this was a pretty nice place at one point, I'm thinking. What a mess now, though. Now well, the old stove is still here. Huh. Well, eh? Never seen this place before. There's feel solid enough yet. Oh, there you go. I guess this is all you need to see up here. Huh. Well, I guess we can have a look out the window. There's the truck way over there. With the door apparently still open. Huh. Well, it's quite the place.
bedroom, bathroom, back door, well, back door, <laughs> some pretty big holes through that. why somebody would go through all the trouble of building a place like this and then just abandon it after. It doesn't make any sense. Well, this one's nice too. This one's made right out of wood, out of logs. And another stove still sitting here. Wow. This one would be nice and solid, this building, for sure. Again, rattled full of gunshot holes. What else is new? Solid building. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Cabin out in the middle of the woods that's been abandoned. Can't believe it. I don't know who would build something and then let it go to hell in a handbasket. And a big old pile of logs over here. Imagine any of this is any good. You start trampling around in there and you end up getting a bee. I've had that before. You start digging around in a pile and next thing you know you're getting stung. Yeah, it doesn't look very sturdy anymore up on the roof there, but these ones look good. That one, not so much. All right, well, now I've seen it, so back to the truck. Well, I'm back at camp. I got a little bit of a load of wood, not too much, but uh, I don't need too much anymore. I'm only going to be here a few more days, so. Uh, I wasn't real stellar at the river, but uh, what do you do? You can't hit it all the time, right? So I'm not so sure that I'll go back there tomorrow. I may just relax for the last couple of days here and, and uh, not worry about it, so... But, uh, yeah, the sun is about to go down here in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to empty the snuffer bottle. But uh, I'll leave that maybe for tomorrow. That'll give me something to do then. So, But, yeah, for now I'm going to get the wood off the truck, get it split, and then that way I can have a decent fire tonight. Well, <laughs> I knew it was inevitable. But it finally happened. Actually, only a few days before I got to go. Figure that out, eh? Yeah, the old axe handle was getting uh, a little bit weak already, and, uh, yep, this was the piece of wood that did it. Now, yeah, well, I have another axe handle with me, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that. We'll, uh, we'll throw this axe head in the fire tonight and burn the old uh, piece of wood out, and uh, we'll fix the axe tomorrow, I guess. Nothing like a good ripping fire, right? Well, unfortunately, I'm running out of days to have good ripping fire, so this is it. And maybe tomorrow in a couple nights, but that's it. Well, guys, uh, not a great day for gold, but uh, sure was neat to do some exploring. And as well, that cabin uh, that was abandoned, that was kind of neat. So uh, stick around for day 88 as I hit the river once again and empty the snuffer bottle to reveal some gold. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.